This is gonna be a good one, boy. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here, back with another video. And today we are back on Reddit. And today I'm gonna be trying something a little different. I've done it in the past, but I haven't done it in quite some time. So we're gonna see if I can uh, thicken up the skin a little bit and try to compliment these ricers. Move the mic a little closer. It's kind of kind of far. Ricers are just like the posers of the car community. They just don't know what they're doing. And a little education is never a bad thing. So if you are one and you watch this video and you have some of these mods, maybe take into account some of the things I'm saying and pointing out. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to try my hardest to compliment them. Some cars just can't be complimented. They are too far gone. But yeah, let's see how we do. And let's see if uh, you guys can compliment them any better down below. All right, this right here has me really excited, but we have to wait. We got four Drew Peacock on here. I haven't been on here in quite some time, so I wonder how long. Three days ago. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I, I'm really excited to see that one, but we got to start down towards the bottom. Okay, we're going to try to be nice today. Have a look at this shit I saw while taking a walk. Nasty. I mean, you are walking, bro. This guy's at least got a car, it seems like, and you are walking. Wow, there's a lot of good ones. Um, fuck, we'll start with this one. Okay. Why is it in like the worst quality of all time? All right, no audio. Why is it in the... Oh, there we go. Holy... Okay. You know what, though? This is... It just got worse. Okay. 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 The good news is you don't have to worry about this guy stealing your girl. Like right here, this guy, don't have to worry about him. If your girl wants to, you know, have a, a, a male best friend, this is the guy to go to. This, this guy ain't getting lucky at all. Uh, as for his car, I mean, maybe it's a she, maybe it's a she. I just based on having, you know, two chicks on the side and, and all this, I don't think a chick would do this. I <laughs> you also have the heart wheels too. Jesus, man. This guy spent some real money making his car real sick. You know, let's just let's just keep it at that. How are you gonna spend a lot of money on these wheels and then buy the, the cheap Amazon plastic lures? Like, how are you gonna do that? How, how are you gonna do that? When you ask this guy what his body count is, I, I'm pretty sure he thinks you're referring to Call of Duty kills or something like that, because uh he has no idea what the hell you're talking about. What does it say on the back? I thought it said Rocket Bunny. I don't even know what that says. Zo, zo, I can't even read that. Come on. Stop. Stop. Rep stop replaying. This is one of those cars that is really hard to compliment. Last thing I'm going to point out is he has like a sun visor on his mirrors. That's like drooping down and covering like a quarter of his mirror. So his visibility isn't the greatest. Just it, uh, Jesus Christ. Hashtag arrow. All right, let's move on. That one was that one was a rough one. I want to see this one. Northern California rice. That first of all. Who says this is riced out? This is drip right here. There's no rice on this. He is not race inspired at all. I don't know what kind of racing you're watching. Uh, unless it's Mad Max. Th this ain't rice. I'm sick of people calling everything rice. Like I, I'm I'm I don't want to you know give myself the rank of king of ricers, but I've seen enough in my day to know that this ain't rice right here. This guy's not trying to, to, to look fast. I don't know what he's trying to do. He looks like a fucking stegosaurus. If that's the case, then then awesome. But uh is it a Toyota Echo? I told you in, in, a, in a previous video, <laughs> there's someone out there modding a Toyota Echo, and this is not what I meant. This is uh, this is not what, what I meant. I'm disappointed. So something nice about this car would have to be that if you're driving this car and someone's like about to hit you or cut you off and is like getting real close to your car, fuck it. You don't got to worry in this car. In this car, I guarantee if they hit you, it's going to be way worse for them. All right, we don't need to waste too much time on that. God, it's like the more I scroll down, the more good stuff I see. I haven't been on Reddit in forever, and it's like, wow, this is—it's been—it's been flourishing since I've been gone. All right, we'll, we'll start going up from zero to ten. How rice is it? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> zero rice, man. That is—that is a race car right there. Quad tip exhaust. We got as much exhaust tips as cylinders. You know what that's going to do? Maximize airflow right there. And, and a tow hitch. That's some wishful thinking, but he does have the tow hitch. He could probably tow a F-250 with that. Let's be real here. If, you, I mean, if you're going to tow, you choose an F-250 or the Kia, the Kia Rio. I'm choosing the Kia Rio with the steelies and the hubcaps. Yeah, other than the quad tip exhaust, once again, not really rice. I mean, he has stickers all over it, but that's that's not rice. Like none of these stickers, unless I'm just I just can't read them. None of them really say, hey, look at me. I'm a race car. Um, He has. I want to say some like ski racks or luggage racks up there. Weather guards. Oh, Jesus. Not the weather guards. And it looks like he does drive the shit out of his car or he drives his car on shit. And that's why his doors are brown like that. Could go either way. But the, the exhaust though. Badass, man. Definitely, definitely needed on the Kia Rio. Definitely needed. Car just can't breathe enough, right? You know, that little four cylinder just can't breathe enough. Mazda speed. It looked like a goddamn Mini Cooper 
for a second. It is definitely not. We got the the T He's 37s, some some foggy headlights, a little 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 uh, patina build right here. You know, this is looking kind of old school. Um, the added AutoZone vents on the hood. Now, right there, what that's doing is intimidation. You know, if you pull up to a guy that looks like this with the with the AutoZone vents and the cheap tiny Amazon wing that's also slanted, um, you pull up on this guy and you know there's either one of two things. One, he is dumb and was probably dropped on his head as a kid. Um, highly probable, highly probable right there. Or two, he's fucking with you. And he's about to blow your doors off in the funniest looking car out there. Is that worth the gamble, though? Are you going to gamble? Are you a gambling man? Are you going to try to challenge this guy right here? Even if you win, look what you're beating. But if you lose, look what you're losing to. You see, that's terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. Pretty sweet build right there. I mean, I'm seeing the toe strap up front. Definitely not just self tappered into the bumper. We already know. Definitely not the case. You know, maybe even a zip tie. Dare I say um, double front splitters awesome very awesome mazda speed yep all right let's keep going let's keep going what's your favorite mod on this sleeper see once again once again okay i literally we've riced out the super in the past by the way that video is still coming don't worry about that i'm just waiting on the on the rest of the stuff to get here you guys had some really good recommendations so um and a lot of this stuff is coming from china so it's coming don't worry but uh anyways that is a 3m toe hitch right there that is that is a 3m sticky on i mean it's even crooked you could tell and then he's got the the 3m hood vent and then the the big wing on the back of course we know what's a, what's a race car without a big wing um honestly his fitment's not bad besides it being ready to go off-roading um if he chopped his springs like all race enthusiasts do you know just take a hacksaw to him um yeah if he did that thing would be hella flush hella flush right here but yeah now my favorite mod honestly is, is, it's probably the hood scoop the hood scoop's the most aggressive thing this guy has um it optimizes airflow it, it optimizes cooling um it's 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 uh, also could be a heat extractor at the same time you know and it's intimidation look at that i mean that's a mean looking front end right there that thing looks like it's about to jump off the screen and bite you might even do that might even do that all right um let's take a look man so far some pretty good builds the purple isn't the worst thing i've seen but the blue honda oof the blue honda the purple ain't bad okay well the purple purple ain't bad at all Purple's purple's kind of cool. Purple's kind of cool. I mean, the toe hitch is a little questionable. But what in the hell is this? Okay, I only said I had to compliment one of them. Purple, you get the compliment. Thumbs up, man. Keep doing you. But stop hanging out with this blue boy right here. Blue boy right here, not a good influence. The big wing on the back, first of all, man. I, I, like, you're still on stock wheels. You probably don't need the gigantic wing. Th th that Black Friday sale or the Cyber Monday sale must have been a little too sweet of a deal. It, it bit you in the ass because it, it doesn't look great on there. Now, now we got to talk about the wheel and fitment situation. You got like positive camber up front and negative camber in the rear. Your wheels are sunken in three inches squared. What is going on here? What is going on here? And I think the paint's all fucked up too. I mean, it is like an older Civic sort of, so it is what it is. But Jesus, man, the wheels killing you out here honestly you can throw some nice wheels on that thing wrap it take off the wing call it a day don't need to do more than that look at your boy that's what he did pretty much lowered it looks like a wrap pretty good take off the toe hitch but pretty good other photo isn't any better but the fitment is just atrocious absolutely atrocious your buddy needs to help you i wouldn't even be seen on the same street as you honestly if you were my boy leave 10 minutes after i leave because i don't even want to be associated with that car you know sometimes i'll be driving my supra right i'll be cruising around you know and i'll be following like a shitbox jdm car and i'm like wow some people are probably like oh they're mobbing together i ain't mobbing with that guy i ain't mobbing with him i don't want to be mobbing with him i don't want to be mobbing with him so that's how i'd be that's how i'd be what should we name this oh this will be a good one <laughs> thanos's cock wow this is wow Oh, look at that fitment. Wow, there's just a lot of good fitment in this episode. A lot of good fitment. Hello Kitty. Why would you waste? This is like the goofiest thing I've ever seen. It's so out of place. You did your front door panels, door cards, whatever you want to call them. You did your headliner, but your seats and your rear seats and your rear door panels, bone stock, ran out of money. That's what it looks like right there. Definitely looks like he ran out of money. Like the front end, party up front. Look at the rear end. So depressing. There's like this, It's not even purple back there. Literally so depressing. You got the pit of hell right here. Or it's a shitter, you know, if you if you ever need to go, just drop a log in there, drop a log in the hatch. It'll never, never be able to go to the rear. Wow, this is the most inefficient grocery getter I've ever seen. Oh, I'm supposed to be complimenting. I like purple. Okay, moving on. 
Uh, yeah, this is this is bad. This is bad. What should we name it though? What would be a good name? I mean, I wouldn't even want to disrespect Thanos and call this, you know, Thanos's cock. But <sighs> not gonna lie on that cough. A fart kind of slid out. Not gonna lie. Well, let me know what you guys would name that. This thing got into a fierce fight with Wolverine, and the scratches match the bumper guards. This guy is tough. Damn, Wolverine took out both eyes on this motherfucker and it does match the bumper guards i think he was going for that he was going for that that you know sweet sweet detail right there <sighs> god bumper guards man that's so 2019 that's so back then we need to move on past that mopar boys like they don't make these anymore so maybe it kind of makes sense to keep them on but just take them off just take them off they're not cool they haven't been cool since 2019 take them off do yourself a favor and definitely don't put Wolverine scratch marks on your car. Definitely don't do that. That is the worst thing you can do. Uh, he also tinted his headlights too, which tinting your taillights is kind of dumb. You know, like I kind of had tinted taillights for a while on my Mustang and I don't think I have any tinted taillights now. I don't. Um, but tinting your headlights is just beyond dumb. Like then you, then you can't really see unless you have really bright taillights or really bright uh, <laughs> headlights. Just don't. A little smoke maybe, but that's like, that's pretty fucking tinted right there. Wolverine, though, didn't show any damn mercy, man. He face fucked this damn car. Fuck that shit up. Another car I spotted at work. Where do you work? I'm going to report you to your boss. Is that a Nike swoosh on the wing? Nike coming into the car scene with the Honda Insight. That a boy, Nike. Is it, this is an Insight, right? It looks like it. Honda and, and Nike collab right here. Why, why do I feel like the Nike swooshes should be facing the other way? Feel like they're they're not facing the right way right here. Was that just a sticker? I think it's just a sticker. I thought it was actually laser cut into it, but that might be thinking. That might be, that might be a little bit of wishful thinking. This looks like a very DIY wing if I've ever seen one. First of all, it looks completely parallel with the floor, so it isn't doing anything. It's it's about as functional as that door vent if I'm if I'm keeping it real. And then also, shouldn't this fade away towards the rear? I don't know. To me, it just seems like that should fade away towards the rear. I could be wrong. Also, could very well be wrong. But um, wow. Once again, beautiful fitment, beautiful fitment. That is good. What three, four inch wheel gap right there. I mean, at least it's sort of flush. At least he's sort of got that part figured out, but get out the fucking angle grinder, chop them damn springs, make it right. You know, might as well. You know, what, what are you going to lose? It's a Honda Insight. Not really losing much. The door vent, though, I can't imagine that door opens very well. And if it does, it definitely touches that vent. It definitely touches that vent. Unless it's like an SC300 door. Uh, if you didn't know this, SC300 doors are really stupid. A normal door, here, I'm going to use these two phones as an example. A normal door, when it opens, it like kind of folds inside. You know, it goes like, you know, like SC300 swings out. It's fucking stupid. I don't know why they would do that, uh, especially when it's on the same chassis as a Supra and the Supra door is normal. Don't know why they would do that. Don't know why they would do that. But Lexus over here fucking up. If I was Nike, this is the car that I would want to uh, introduce me to the game. You know, welcome to the car scene, Nike. Welcome to the car scene. So serious sponsorship right there. Spotted this today after school. At least he didn't do blue and red. There's the compliment he's getting. At least he didn't do blue and red. That would have been a pretty obvious choice, but oh my bad, blue and red, black and red. He did a black and blue, just like he leaves his opponents after a race. Black and blue beats him up, you know? Um, the double decker wing is kind of cool. The, the blue accents though definitely just sets this car off and I, you can actually see if my editor will zoom in right here i believe i can see a blue steely under there underneath the hubcap great attention to detail great attention to detail on this car he's got homeboy in the back right there probably his uh oh he's a chauffeur that makes sense you know if i was being driven around in style this is exactly what i would want right here this is 10 out of 10. This is Texas. This is the second car from Texas we've seen today. That is just dog shit. Somebody's front wheel drive hatchback just didn't have enough downforce. So they bought a solution off Amazon. Yep. Yep. That makes sense. That makes sense. This guy stood up in a bus to take this photo. This guy is a madman. Wow. That doesn't look like a goddamn shopping cart at all. Doesn't look like a lawnmower. Doesn't look like a shopping cart. That looks like a race car. That looks like that. Is that the new? Is that the new Urus? Is that the new? 2024 Urus. Oh, it's the new Ferrari, uh, the new Ferrari SUV to compete with it. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely looks sporty with that bad boy on there. Wow. And um, way to stand out from the crowd. That doesn't even look like like it looks like a weird antenna. That doesn't even like when, when you put it on a car like that, it doesn't even look like a wing, especially where he placed it. It doesn't even look like a wing. It's oh my God. <laughs> looks like a trash can, like the handle for the fucking like trash bin. 
Oh, disgusting. All right. We're getting to the one that I really want to see. This one is for Drew Peacock. I appreciate it. Uh, Ronin, Ronin, SRT8. <laughs> 13 days ago. My bad. I thought I said three days ago. I am dyslexic. <laughs> and what a beauty she is. This has to be one of the most modified um, chargers out there. I'm, I'm not even going to doubt that it's a Hellcat just right off this first photo. I could I could clearly tell that the guy that, that bought this did this to a Hellcat because uh, why wouldn't you? Um, I mean, he has a cool wolf logo. Dare I say a coyote? Wrong car, idiot. Um, <laughs> oh, man, people are out here are, are pretty dumb. But let's take a look at all of his all of his sick mods. Since this one is dedicated to me, I feel like I, I got to give this one a little bit more attention than the other one. So starting from the rear, gigantic single decker amazon wing kind of looks functional like i don't think he intended it to be functional but you know it's not giving him lift at least so it's like it, it might be doing something you know does this v6 need it no no it definitely does not um then we got the wide body flaps but uh, you know attention to detail drew here i see some mud flaps down there so he's probably signed up for the uh, rally season De definitely set up for the rally racing season um, we've got a nice mesh wheel. We have a Mustang style hockey stick vent back there. That's what they call it on the, on the Mustangs. But yeah, I, I, you know, beats me. I don't know what you're trying to cool off back there unless you're trying to divert the air into the trunk. I don't even know. It doesn't even make sense. All right. Well, whatever. Um, then going to the door, we got weather guards. Of course we got a, uh, wrapped mirror or a mirror cover oh i didn't see the rear window louver very beautiful very beautiful looks identical to your fake vent on the side awesome awesome very awesome um okay wolf logo don't know what that's for we have a sunroof visor i don't even know what the point of that one actually is like why like you know people say with the with the window visors with the, with the weather guards oh if it's raining and i'm smoking i can roll down the window or whatever that's usually like what everyone comments what is this for is it just to like shade out the sun and just close the f you see my point anyways um okay windshield surprisingly no banner nothing that says like i'm a fucking badass or locally hated nothing like that you know um wheels look curbed to shit so this guy can't drive he's got a black wrapped hood he has a fake hood vent on his black wrapped v6 hood and then he also has a fake like wind deflectors going into his fake vents or something i don't his hood's a, a shit show. His hood is just a shit show. His front grill is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the front grill. Only thing I actually like on the car. I don't like that it's red, but I do like the nine bar grill on those cars because like it looks like the old one with the headlights behind it. Looks sick. Okay. Anyways, this front, <laughs> this front splitter with this monstrosity of, <laughs> of support braces. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't think you need four on, on that front splitter. I just don't think you need four of them. Seems like a bit much on a V6. Just going to say it just seems like a bit much. Plus 100 downforce. Let's count how much horsepower this guy has. Plus 100 downforce on the front. Plus 50 horsepower for cooling on the hood and the front grill. And then uh, the wide body kits probably plus another 100. The wing though, the wing and all the side scoops, I'd say a combined 200. So this guy's probably just as fast as a stock Hellcat. So yeah, honestly, V6 Hellcat, I could see it happening. I could see it happening. Thank you to uh, Ronin, Ronin, SRT8. Thank you. Anyways, guys, I hope I did well. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these cars. A lot of shitty ones. Honestly, that was I haven't been on Reddit in a minute. I, I like doing it once every once in a while because I used to do it a lot more and it just got really tiring because it was a lot of a lot of shitty cars. But honestly, very good episode today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please let me know down below. McLaren and Civic both have little issues. I'm fixing them this week, hopefully. And then I have some big stuff planned. If you guys are looking forward to that, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And until next video, peace.